I hope everybody's comfortable. But sitting, guys, has been termed a new cancer. It's worse than cigarettes. It's the next big thing that actually is going to kill you because we don't have enough of those things in Australia, right? So I want to help you, so everybody, please stand up. Yes, I'm doing this also for the camera, for the YouTube people out there watching it right now. Please stand up, everybody. Thank you very much. You should be feeling much better right now. I just saved your health, basically. Okay, now listen to the slide and the title. Please carefully, slowly sit down, okay? Thank you so much. Great. Good. Now, very quick poll here. Very quick. Who found sitting down easier? Hands up. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah, that's good. There's a reason why the majority of you actually found it easier. Your muscles, your thigh muscles mainly, when you sit down, they get longer, but they work at the same time. So it's a stretch while being activated. We call this eccentric muscle actions. Happens all the time in real life. You walk downstairs, super easy. Walking upstairs, not so much fun. You know, holding your groceries and putting them somewhere, it's not so cool. Just putting them slowly down on the ground, very, very easy. In our lab, what we do, we have a bike and we do eccentric cycling. So the bike just drives the chain and the pedals and you have to work against it. So we repetitively do this type of exercise over and over again. And we already know it makes you stronger. It's easy to do all types of clinical populations, COPD patients, cancer patients, MS patients, everybody can do it and get those benefits of being stronger. I'm particularly investigating to design this whole thing in intervals with high intensities to additionally to strength give us a big punch for endurance to improve your cardio. Additionally, I'm also looking soon into investigating several different molecular signals in the muscle to understand how all this goodness actually happens because nobody has tapped into this. And then I want to get out of the lab in the real world because I believe in the best of everybody and I believe that everybody wants to be healthy so I want to provide them with the tools to do this in the most easiest, most comfortable way. So I want to get to the point where I can prescribe simple things like please sit down 50 times a day slowly, carefully and you will get all this goody goodness. You will get stronger and more endurance. And then at the end of the day I would like to see headlines in newspapers, those really weird fitness magazines, uh, Facebook feeds, TV everywhere saying crazy Polish scientist finds sitting actually healthy. Thank you.